Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla and welcome back to Jack 2. When we last left off, we basically uh, joined up with Notorious Mob Boss crew in order to get more information about what's going on in Haven City. What's, what's the cause of this war and why is it that it doesn't seem to have an end point in sight? We did some jobs for crew and we managed to snag ourselves two weapons. A standard morph gun with a scatter gun mod and a blaster modification using red and yellow eco. So, now that we've got this weapon, we have our choice of missions. We can either basically go back and do another job for crew, or we could do go back to the resistance and do a job for Torn. I'm gonna basically go to crew because not only is it in close proximity, but I have a feeling that this mission will take us close enough to the Resistance base to where we can drop in on Thorn, on Torn afterwards. <laughs> Thorn. Okay, for some reason my controller isn't being as responsive as it needs to be. Where are you? I have a proposition for you, Jack. Racing is the biggest oh, sport I was in the wrong. city. Errol is the undisputed grand champion. He's crazy and dangerous Errol. on the track. <laughs> My kind of guy. Only a fool would dare race against him, eh? And that's where you two come in. A client of mine is looking for a fast driver for her racing team. Here's a security pass to get you into the station section. Uh, and your contract with just a few Pay attention. for me. <laughs> I've uh, already signed your name to save time. He signed. Mm -hmm. We the racers hereby agree to give crew all proceeds from race earnings, endorsement fees, broadcast royalties, syndication residuals, vehicle sponsorships, small appearance fees, collectible card assets, fast food tie-ins, use of likeness rights, talk show deals, clothing lines, all print rights including book, novella, comic, pamphlet, ticket tape, neon sign, and bathroom graffiti designs. <sighs> Toy rights, shoe lines, mood rings, game rights. Game rights? Tournament <laughs> endorsement, city kickback, movie deals, and of course, all death and dismemberment, accident insurance. That is Wait. so great. <laughs> we can work out the tiny details later. If you can get from here to the race garage near the stadium in less than three minutes, my client said she would consider letting you drive for her team. Make me proud, hmm? So I was wrong. This mission isn't going to take us anywhere near the underground. But it gives us a green security pass, so we have access to more areas of the city. But that joke, that joke is one of the best in all of Jack and Daxter, because basically that contract pretty much lines out that every single dollar that they make in basically racing for Crew's racing team crew basically gets all the profits and not only that if they get any kind of endorsement fee any kind of endorsement fees up to and including movies comic tie-ins toy licenses and video games crew gets all of that as well which is why daxter kind of broke the fourth wall there when he pointed out game rights <laughs> and not only that they're if they basically crash and die in the event of these races, Crew is the beneficiary who collects on their life insurance. <laughs> My god, that is just so funny. Alright, let's do this. We're heading into parts of the city we've never been before. We gotta get there in less than three minutes. And I've already damaged my zoomer. I don't remember much about this mission. I know who it is we're going to talk to, even though it takes Jack and Daxter a long while to figure it out, but I don't think that the Crimson Guard needs to get involved, because it's not like we're transporting anything. As far as they're concerned, we're just driving to work. But then again, we did escape from prison, 
Jack and Daxter should probably be the most uh, wanted criminals in this city. Especially since Baron Praxis knows what Jack is. Unfortunately for the Baron, he doesn't know what he turns Jack into. Oh man, it does take us past the underground. We're this whole rate this whole mission is taking us the long way around, and we're not even halfway there yet. Well, technically we are halfway there, but Oh no! I just lost half a minute on that debacle. We're in the green section. Can we make it in time? Now in this section of the city, you're going to see some signs with some very familiar faces on them, which is why I knew that I had to basically play the games in the order that I did in order to make sure you guys could easily recognize them. You should be able to recognize them anyway, but I don't know how old my audience is. For all I know, you guys could just be a bunch of kids who have never even heard of these games before. Here's the stadium. It's going to be close. Three seconds, no! We were right there. Had I not friggin' crashed the second time. The problem is, is that you basically realize that Haven City is actually one big gigantic loop in a lot of ways. Most of the places that you go to visit in the city kind of feed into each other from one end to the next. So, crew giving us a green pass, basically taking us all the way to the other side of town, is literally a waste of time, considering that a higher level pass would have gotten us there much sooner. Oh well, at least the guards don't get involved so long as I will crash into them! And this city hates the smell of you. This is Unit Alpha. We're at room. Come on. How many stars do I have? Well, I managed to make it all the way on, on one zoomer this time. Right? We made it. Now let's say hello to Cruise Mechanic. Yeah, that'll wear buff out. Uh, hello? Cruise said someone was looking for a race driver? 
I'm busy right now. You must be Crew's new errand boy. Mm, sexy Look, voice. I don't mean to be rude. You did get here fast, but I'm not interested in any new drivers right now. And I've got work mm. to do. Is there anything we can do? No! I'm uh, working on a secret uh, uh, vehicle project. Okay, sorry. Listen, if you think you've got the guts to race in this town, try taking my prototype jet board out on the stadium court. Beat the stadium challenge, and maybe I'll consider you for my team. Nice silhouette. Yeah, I know that it's been two years and all, but I seriously can't believe that Jack, neither Jack nor Daxter could figure out who this mysterious mechanic was. Uh, it's one of those things where basically the the audience or the player just end up being smarter than the protagonists. Anyway, let's go practice with the jet board. thing about it is, is that the jet board is basically going to be used for some missions in this game, but I'm actually not going to like it all that much. I basically... Basically, like a lot of things, the jet board in this game isn't nearly as polished as it would get in the, in later entries in the franchise. So, basically it's going to be awkward going back and basically playing it before I really... before, like, all the niceties were installed. At least she compliments us, for now at least. Problem is, is that now we gotta return this fine jet board. But, it's not like it's gonna matter all that much as long as we keep playing the game. Uh, great, that regular walking speed feels too slow.
Right, let's go talk to Mystery Mechanic any again. We beat the stadium challenge. Great. People do get lucky. Listen, don't you have someone to collect money from or beat up or something? You don't like us, do you? You work for that slime ball crew. What's not to like? <laughs> Looks like you've won a few races. Isn't it true the city champion gets to tour the palace? Yeah. Interesting. Why? Could you get me into the palace? A friendly visit, I gather. Yeah. I'm a real fan of the Baron. Okay. I'll help you out if you stop bothering me. I saw an old maintenance elevator at the base of one of the palace support towers. That old lift might take you up to the palace if you can find a way to turn on the elevator's power. Hmm. So now Jack has a way into the palace but we need somebody to power the elevator for us. And that brings us nicely to what Torn is about to ask us to do, which is making me wonder if I should have basically did that mission first before coming here and talking to her or talking to crew. But seriously, can I not steal a vehicle? Although I gotta admit, even in silhouette form, she still has a great butt. Right to the resistance. Hey, Torn, and if favor. One of the Baron's mining operations is under attack by the metalheads. That's not our problem. It is our problem when the foreman's one of the underground's best informants. His name is Vin, and he's just valuable enough to save. Find the warp gate at the power station and use it to travel to the strip mine so you can rescue Vin's pathetic hide. Hey! Tattooed wonder! How come we get all the crappy missions? Because I don't like <laughs> you. Fair enough. Whatever deal the Baron made with the Metalheads, the city's eco is almost gone, and his time is running out. If we don't get the kid back on the throne soon, there may not be a city left to defend. The kid? That's why Kor had the kid with him? That kid is the legitimate ruler of Haven City? Anyway, it's like I predicted, this is the mission that's going to tie into the story. So the, the city is almost out of eco. They've got a strip mine operation to harvest more eco, but that mine is under attack. We gotta go rescue the foreman because he's been an, an, insi he's an insider. He's been feeding us information from inside the Baron's operations. Yeah. Ah, I hate it when they do this. Things could get vertical.
Hmm. Apparently the guards do care if you beat people up in their line of sight. Right. This is the power station, and there's the warp gate. Let's go. Just like old times, eh, Dex? Look at all this dark eco. And metalhead eggs. But yeah, pools of dark eco like this, it really is just like old times. Scorpion metalheads. Stinger metal head. What a lethal combination. And look, I've already basically recouped my loss from giving these things to the Oracle. Any more metalheads want some of this? Well, it was kind of rhetorical, but I'll take it. It gets me more trophies. Eco wells. I gotta find some crates and load up on ammo. Because basically, it's easy to forget that you have to watch your ammo count in this game. Because you can go through ammo so quickly, if you can't find a Crimson Guard crate with ammo in it, you're kinda screwed. <laughs> Dang it, they're regenerating. They're basically like coming out without any friggin' oh, skull gems.
Right. Let's go get Vin. Hard to believe it. The warp gate was literally right there. Well, Myself. If you want, you can stay here and be metal meat. But Daxter and I are leaving before those monsters get back. <laughs> I used to think that Jack reached through, grabbed him by the shoulder, and pulled him in. <laughs> hey, I want to thank you guys for saving my butt out there at the strip mine. And we'd like to thank you for being such a bad shot. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm a bit jumpy these days. Jumpy? We hadn't noticed. Ah! A metalhead behind you! Ah! What the? Who the? What? Ah! Just kidding. Nice reaction time, though. Not funny! <laughs> Those metalheads have been attacking our mining operations, and we're running out of eco. Eco power keeps the city shield walls up, and if the shield drops, well, we can all kiss our butts goodbye! I've got a few surprises for those metalheads. You've got to keep the shield walls up until the shadow figures out what to do. My readings show a drop in eco flow at the drill platform. Probably some metalhead egg sucking away power. So use the warp gate to go to the platform and destroy every metalhead egg you can oh, find. Oh man, the eggs at the drill platform. I am not a fan of this mission, but. I am a fan of Vin's character. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that there probably aren't many characters in the Jack and Dak franchise that just aren't likable, because they're all really well written. Like, basically Vin here, he's basically kind of like, uh, a, he's an impression of, I think, uh, what's his name, uh, oh my god, I, I had his name for a moment there, uh, but I can't remember, it's like, he's that, what, Woody Allen, yep, he's a, I think he's an impression of a Woody Allen type character. And no, I really don't care all that much about Woody Allen's controversy. I really, really friggin' don't. Because, well, let's face it, impressions of Woody Allen are funny as hell. And Vin's the kind of strung out foreman who's just so paranoid that this war is going to kill him before, the, before it's over. <laughs> Uh, should I basically do this mission for Vin? Because it is important. I could always go talk to Torn. I could go talk to Crew. Or I could basically... Destroy the eggs. That's one of the things that I don't like about the these games. The fact, the fact is... Usually where you land on the map... You kind of stick to in that area until you run out of missions, or the game tells you flat out to go talk to somebody else. But you have so many open world options that you really could do any of these at any given moment. I just hope that Jack doesn't ask for a favor when we get back. So why is it that I don't care for this mission? Well, I don't like inverted controls, that's why.
lots of metal head eggs. This is outside the city walls. They can't basically protect off this area to keep the metal heads from getting in. So the metal heads are just coming in and preparing and just laying as many eggs as possible. You see those arrows around the reticle? They let you know you've got metal head flyers incoming. Those little green notches around the reticle are the gun's help. The problem is, if you focus too much on fighting them and not destroying the eggs, you'll basically be here fighting them off forever. They spawn infinitely. At least I thought they did. Maybe it only felt that way back when I was a kid and had no skills. Everybody out. Shot one kill. Basically how I dreamed that drive through windows should be. Seriously, drive through window cashiers, I salute you. Because in our society, basically, that is a job that literally is designed to drive a person insane. Kind of like the U Kind of like the postal system, the mail never stops. Just like how the customers never stop coming. Ever again. again. Better to die. Basically, like, I get that it's a level hazard and everything, but I'm just wondering, what the heck is, is this for? Like, what are they burning? I love, I love the, those platforms. They remind me of giant spatulas.
yeah, these guys. I gotta admit though, this level ain't that bad. The problem is, is that this drill platform is gonna be a major pain in the ass later on in the game. Because right now the gun is stationary. Imagine what you would have to do if the gun platform had to move on a rail. Definitely going to see the Oracle after this. We're totally naming our kid Cher! <laughs> oh, that is such a stupid line. Light was one for a second. I thought that was a crate. Eggs, 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 eggs. It's eggs for breakfast. Not great, now they're coming in threes. There's our exit strategy. And 
no, that was not a pun. See what I mean? It's what we do. Because we're nice like that. Almost 150 Metalhead Skull Gems, and they're gonna disappear within seconds. Because now we're all the way back at the beginning. Well, sort of. No, actually we're not. Because that, that over there is what's gonna give us problems. Although I gotta say that basically once you beat the campaign, this is arguably one of my favorite places to come back to because it's easy to farm metalhead skull gems. The problem is, when you're done with the entire campaign, there really is no reason to collect them, so I don't get why the game suddenly decides to respawn every single metalhead with its gem intact every single time. I've collected thousands of them. Alright, can we get past without a cutscene? Yay, Vin isn't here. Good. That gives Jack some time to think about what he's gonna do next. I really would like to go talk to Torn, but crew is closer. So... And we're still at 42 minutes. And, this is one of the things I like about Jack 2 and Haven City, the fact that not only is there a day and night cycle, there's also a weather cycle. You see how foggy it is? Because it's raining. It's rainy, it's dark and gloomy. Like, the sun goes up and su sunrise, sunset, there's a night, entire night time and whatnot, but now, there's weather. Oh no! Oh well, at least there, there aren't any of those security bots down here, but the problem is, is that there are very few places to get out of this water. Thankfully I see one up ahead, so just take a long swim. Crew. Hi, Sugar Plum. She you looks familiar. Me, well, what you got that's uh, hot? And wait, I've seen you before. You're with the underground. Shh, I'm Tess. Torn sent me to spy on Crew. Play along, and I may be able to get my hands on a few of Crew's secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. But uh, two can work better than one. Let me <laughs> help you out. Wow. There sure are a lot of bottles back here. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's... Oh, that, that goes down there. Uh... Oh, boy. Gee, you suppose that's real gold float in here? How about this purple stuff? <laughs> Woo! Jack. That's the stuff. I need you Fire. and that talking rat to go around and make a few collections for me. Hey there, five gins. <laughs> How's crimes? What's his problem, eh? Nothing. I'm just fine. <laughs> my own business. I sometimes <laughs> feel so very, Listen, very I have six clients around town who are about to make money drops for me. I need you to collect each money back as fast as you can. And take care of any guards who get curious, hmm? Get the money so back too late, then soon the so dry. You know what's the trouble with you, Crow? You got no reason. This place could be a real swinging joint. Hot like <laughs> heaven, with more dancing, more macking, more women! Jack knows what I'm talking about! Just gonna 14 money bags Jack, before they disappear you know and bring them back here. If you lose what? even one I bag, love you, then man. don't come back, <laughs> eh? Somebody needs to get Daxter some coffee. So... Tess, huh? 
She's with the underground, and Torn sent her, her here to spy on crew. Like I said at the beginning of the game, you guys are going to like Tess because she has very big uh, personality. She's got very big personality. <laughs> you know, basically like Daxter's antics, I kind of enjoy. I like the fact that crew just sort of tolerates Daxter because <laughs> you would think that basically crew is the kind of guy who would have someone killed for saying less. And the guards are already on us for no reason. We don't have time to basically hang around and kill them, unless basically I want to shoot. But speaking of such things, basically while you're driving, since Jack is driving, if you want your gun out, Daxter's the one who uses it. Isn't that awesome? And who says that Daxter is? Six clients and 14 bags. Shouldn't it be seven clients and two bags apiece? And yeah, I get that they basically make money drops, but they just seriously drop it in the middle of the city? It's not how money drops work, you like. You have to drop it in some kind of mailbox or something. Or even a dumpster. Or a trash can. Something that basically isn't gonna draw suspicious, but nobody is immediately gonna look into. We need to get that money back, the crew will basically kill us. These guys are incorrigible. Alright, we're gonna start working our way back, I suppose. mission. Yeah. Okay, I'm just about back to where I was before I duh, before I failed. You want to know how it ends? Yeah, me too. And to think, just in the last episode I was complaining that these guys weren't using their guns. Finally, and suddenly they stopped caring. Bring the money back to crew. All right, fat man. Mm. Quite the money collectors, eh? Here's a gun. Yes. Day. Now get out. I need my beauty net. Trust me, brother. There aren't enough hours in the day. <laughs> aren't enough hours in the day. Scatter gun rate of fire increased. Yes! That basically might be a good excuse to go check it out on the shooting range. But I need to pick up some more ammo anyway. Rex. 
good. And as you can see, if I start the scatter gun training course, I got the bronze. It's now asking for the silver. Oh yeah, this is more like it. You know, I would think that basically if civilians were around metalheads, they would have enough foresight to, well, get down. Oh, I'm out of ammo! Nope, I failed. Congratulations, you achieved the silver record. I got it. Now the gold record is twelve thousand, even though it still says silver. Care to try for the course record? Maybe when I get the upgrade that increases this this thing's rate of fire. So, how many precursor orbs do I got? Let's see, 21 collected, I can toggle Jack's goatee on and off, I can mirror the world. And now everything is reversed. It looks so weird. I think that basically we have enough time to where we can go talk to Torn and find out what our next mission with him is going to be. I don't know if we'll do that mission because we probably don't have time for it. We can sign off the episode when we get there. I honestly don't think that we're late enough in the game to where Torn is going to give us our next gun upgrade, but who knows. Yet, we could probably do this. These things. Might as well basically do them as they become available because I don't want to basically have to scour all over the city looking for these things once the game is done. Recognize this place? Find it fast and a reward is yours. Where's the zoomer?
even see the palace from here. Yep, this one can't be done without the jet board, I'm certain of it. is the palace. Because where the hell is it? The palace is there in the center of the city, so Jack is facing... That means that it should be... I've got suspicious activity in this sector. Palace is in that direction, so Christ, I forgot basically how closely packed the friggin' Crimson Guards were in this game. Sweeping for suspects. I can't find it, and even if I could, I can't get to it. But that was a good way to kill 10 minutes. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like it, share it with your friends. If you want to keep up to date with more Jack 2 coming at you in the future, then please smash the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later!